The 17th of February saw the third anniversary of the overthrow of Colonel Gaddafi in Libya. Time magazine described the mood in Martyrs Square, Tripoli, as bittersweet, with the country paralysed by factional, regional, tribal and ideological divisions. Today I take a look at some of the key points around the vote on a new draft constitution and speak to a correspondent based in Libya. Our monitor's analysis, Libya's troubled elections, says that as assembly votes take place, the country remains ungovernable in the proliferation of armed militias. The article says nearly half of all registered voters were women, while the quota for women in the assembly was set at only six seats. Meanwhile, divisions remain entrenched as an outdated system remains, which divides the country into three regions, Tripolitania in the west, Cyrenaica in the east and Fezzan in the south, with each region allocated 20 seats. In addition, the two seats allocated to the Amazigh minority will not be contested due to that community's boycott. The article says the GNC, formed in 2012, has been practically paralysed by infighting, corruption and threats by various militias, forcing it to pass unpopular laws. The article adds that when the revolt against Gaddafi began in February 2011, the entire country was a huge building site. Today, however, nothing is moving and oil production, the country's main source of hard currency, has dropped to a quarter of what it used to be and almost half its pumpkin, pumping capacity. Two issues are a particular hindrance to progress, lack of effective governmental control across the country and the fact that its election was based on a regional distribution of seats along existing dividing lines. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Be sure to join us again next week. Bye for now.